Hi everyone and um, welcome to the tutorial of our new compliance and uh, compliance tracking and task management system. It's been something that we've been developing over a long period of time, an idea that we had to help you uh, stay in compliance and manage all the different things that um, that you need to with regard to employee records and eventually other other items. But uh, basically the, the general idea is that um, you can see in an overview, like here, when you log into your um, dashboard, you log into the, your account, your business account, you're going to see this dashboard. And on here, you're going to see um, an overview of things that are coming due or things that are expired that you need to take care of, whether they're training related or whether they're uh, medical related or whatever type of tasks that uh, we have created as uh, the super admin or the default tasks or whatever tasks that you want to create and anytime you put a particular employee in a category like this employee's direct care staff they receive all of the items that are uh, set as default tasks and so really easily you can manage all the things and try to stay out of compliance so here on your dashboard you're going to see uh, the compliance uh, section you have an alert so we can send alerts you can click on this it'll take you to the news section and um, eventually we'll post we'll make it so that you can post alerts for your employees as well um, we're also going to be adding in a lot of other cool things like scheduling and jobs boards um, so as you can see for my sample facility I have uh, zero tasks overdue and 10 open or pending tasks open or or new tasks pending or things that are recurring that come back up again uh, after they've been completed and facility and compliance yes for now for now as you can see I have some due dates down here um, which will will make me not in compliance okay based on the criteria that I set and I have the number of employees and you can search for tasks so you can say you know I want to see everybody that has a TB test or I want to see all my TB tests for all my employees or I want to see all my background screenings uh, stats or I want to see has every where is everybody at with a communicable disease statement or whatever uh, task you want to you can search by name as well okay so let me let's get into the details here basically every type of employee has a default set of tasks now here's the employees that we've created to start okay RN admin staff direct care staff administrator housekeeping maintenance med tech or a med tech slash direct care staff and an LPN uh, you don't have to use all of those right now the one that we put most of our effort into developing the default tasks are the direct care staff we've created default tasks for all of these employee groups um, so let me just explain to you the difference between uh, the default tasks that we as the admin create and you as the business manager create. As the admin, you can see here, the TB test was created by the admin. If you created a task, and now you can do that by creating a new template, new template task right here. But if you create the task, instead of saying created by admin, it'll say created by business BM or, or manager or whatever it is. And essentially what that means is those are tasks that are specific to your facility that you've created and which will be assigned to any employee in particular group. So let me just briefly show you what that looks like. Let's say, well, let me get to this, this first. Let me show you all the direct care staff default tasks, okay? So first of all, um, we have a TB test, direct care staff. It's due in 30 days from the date that you create the employee okay now you can edit the date the due date afterward depending um, maybe you want to move it up maybe you want to move it further maybe you create the employee um, today but they don't start work for two weeks so you have a little leeway with the due date and I'll show you how that works a little later you can do it after they're assigned you can't edit anything that the admin that we have created but you can edit after they've been assigned job application um, you want to have that on file in 30 days and you can enable or disable any of these tasks that you don't want included in 
a particular employee's record. Background screening, and as you can see, it's recurring, right? So it's due within one day. We just put one day because um, it's due immediately, okay? And it recurs every five years from the date it was completed. And I'll explain to you recurring tasks in a little bit. But basically, you, um, your employee that you hire needs background screening check, right? You, um, you set the background screening. They receive the results. You upload the status into here. You set the, the completion date in here. And five years from the day that you mark it as complete, it will become due again. And there's a time period um, that you'll get notification. Okay, so you'll get, it's like 30 days or 60 days prior to the due date. Communicable disease statement, and it's due right away. It's not recurring. It's an initial one-time task, active. Uh, W4 form, so you can enable or disable this if you want to make it as part of your HR task checklist. The employee signs a W4. You can upload it into here as well. Um, when you update the background screening roster, did you do that? You have 10 days to do it um, from the date they're, they're hired, but you may have to move this depending on um, when they complete theirs. Uh, then we get into some training, HIV training, significant changes. Now, your direct care staff, um, you might make a, a different one for people who are CNAs versus who are non-CNAs, and they may not need all of these courses, but right now, with the direct care staff, these are all the courses that are going to go automatically into their account as soon as you put them into direct care staff group. Uh, significant changes, abuse, neglect, ADL, resident behavior, resident rights, infection control, assistance with self-administered medication, six hour. Okay, so the way this one works is we don't offer that online. You can't offer it online. It's due immediately. So you're, you're going to create your employee and this is going to be put into their account. And you can change the due date, um, but if they're going to be assisting residents with medication, it's due immediately, um, so they have to have it. And um, just remember, that's an outside training that you're going to have to schedule. And then the, um, the two-hour course will go in their account, okay, and it'll renew every year. So it depends. Your employee may have already already have the six-hour training. So what you'll do is you'll upload the certificate in here in this task so it's part of their record. And then the, um, the two-hour training, you would set the due date based off of when they completed their six-hour training. So we'll just make a couple adjustments. After the, you enter the date for the six-hour, then you'll set the due date for the, the two-hour. Okay, But it will go in their account. Uh, the CPR training, we don't offer online, first aid training, but it is in your account. Okay, it's in your account as a as a task that you need to complete. Now, they may not need it. Your direct care staff may not need it. You can remove that task after they've been assigned. I'll show you that. DNR training, uh, pre-service orientation, uh, food safety training, elopement policies, procedures, major emergencies. So you can see these that recur, they don't recur. Um, and actually, we're, we, it didn't filter properly. It's showing us both direct care staff, med tech as well. So we're, we're repeating here. We'll get that fixed. But basically, your direct care staff are going to be assigned all of these tasks. So let's just take a look and see how that will look. Um, well, first of all, let me also look show you your employee dashboard. So you click on your employees, and immediately it shows you if you're good, all your employees. Well, now... This yellow means that I have tasks for this particular employee that are coming due. If it's red, I'm out of compliance for this particular employee. So you can easily see who is in compliance, who is coming due on um, becoming out of compliance, and who is um, who is who is overdue or pending. Okay. So you can go ahead and click on that, and you'll see all of the tasks that are. These are all tasks that are created for a particular employee. Now, the cool thing is this is basically your employee's record. And you can see all of these items and you can have them uploaded. Okay, so here, for example, job application. I'm going to view the job application and I can upload the file right here. Okay, 
So here's here's what the uh, task view looks like. I can change it to a different status. I can change the completion date. I can change the due date. It's not linked to a course. Um, and I would see the job application right here. So this is your employee file. Now let's say my employee need, needed to get me this. I could also say, please get, get this to me as soon as possible. So now there's a little chain record that the manager posted and the employee will be able to read this and also make comments back as well. Okay, so that is the um, employee. Um, another cool thing about this, let's say, for example, it's a course, right? We know it's a, a course like significant changes and incident reporting. Now, if you view this, any course, if they complete the course on their end, the certificate will be saved here. So you won't have to go retrieve it. It's all saved here for you. It's a part of the record and it's a part of their permanent record. And um, so that's that. You'll have all your certificates within your employee file here. Um, you can upload your all your forms, communicable disease. You can upload everything. So if ACA comes, you just pull up this and you can retrieve whatever files you have from anywhere. Okay. Um, so we're, we're on the employees and I just saved some. So let me just show you here, for example, this AB test. Okay. Let's go ahead and click on the AB test profile. Um, I'm going to open simultaneously a new tab. I'm going to show you my dashboard again. Okay. So here you can see I only have this one employee who has tasks that are due. But let me go ahead and edit my employee, AB test, and let me go ahead and change their group to direct care staff. Now, you can do this when you're creating the employee. So let's say I just create this employee. I add them to that, that a group, and boom, they're going to get all of those tasks. Um, whatever group you put them in, they'll get those assigned tasks. Okay, so let's update the profile. And now, oh, look at that. AB test is out of compliance, or ha not out of compliance. They're, they have tasks that are pending. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's hit refresh. Okay, now we have AB tests here, you see? And I think it's filtered by due date. So you see the things, um, well, I thought we had some at four. Oh, yeah. We'll fix this. There's a due date. should be filtered by due date. It might be filtered by some other, um, some other category. Okay. But anyway, you see all of these tasks that are uh, pending. Now, let's go ahead and quickly look back at AB Test's uh, profile again and look at all the courses in their account. So we saw the, um, yep, their courses in their account here. And um, so we can manage all of our default tasks. Like I said, if you want to add some tasks, you can create new tasks. If you want to add, uh, let's say, memory care, for example, you create a new task, call it Alzheimer's Level 1, link it to a course. I'll show you that in the next tutorial video. But I wanted to give you a brief overview of how the task management system is going to work and how you're going to be able to uh, help your facility stay in compliance. Now, um, you also are going to have um, the ability to unenroll somebody from a task. So let's say, for example, um, let's say this person's been working for you for um, many years and they, uh, let's see, what would you remove them? Oh, let's say they're a, let's say they're a, a, a transportation, right? They're a main um, driver, and they don't need some of the things in here that you've assigned to them. You can go ahead and remove them from the task, and all you would do is basically, um, I think you can, you view the task. Let's say I want to remove A B test from this task, then I, um, I can remove A B test. See, unassigned user right here. You click unassigned user. Uh, 
Okay, so that's a brief overview. You can still use all the other functions that we have, which are uh, enroll users in courses, add existing user, uh, so on and so forth. But I just wanted to give you a brief video tutorial on how your system is going to work. And um, please email us with any recommendations or suggestions you might have. Okay.